Hello and welcome back to Coins and More UK. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week. And finally, in today's video, we are going to be looking at the 2021 annual set which was released by the Royal Mint. Now, when I say finally, it is finally here. I was waiting about six or seven weeks for this to get here, but it turns out in the end, um, I think I did a bit of research or either it was the uh, customer assistant on the phone. She did say that it was due to um, some form of packaging error. And um, I've been hearing some rumours around the mill that there's some error coins in here as well. So we'll soon find out when we get this ball pack open. But I've been looking forward to receiving this for so long because some of the designs in, in this set are absolutely fantastic and I can't wait to have it up and close look at them. So without further ado, let's um, crack this pack open and let's have a look at the coins inside. All right, here we go. Let's have a look. Open this carefully. There we go. Let's whip this to one side for a second. And let's have a look at the front. So basic packaging. There's a bit of a bit of a raised. Was it raised or is it ridged? Ridged, ridged pattern on there. Very nice, nice and basic. And again, a bit of information on the back. So uh, making history. This 2021. UK Brilliant Uncirculated and your coin set contains the definitive coins of the United Kingdom from the 1p to the 2p alongside five commemorative editions which celebrates some of the inspiring people and events that have each played a part in making Britain great. That's really cool so let's um, rip this out so again it just comes with a little wallet and here we go. So starting off we have got I think it's the first page is it? Oh no so not starting off, but it's going well so far. So here we go, here's the uh, the def definitive designs of this year. And of course, ranging from the one penny all the way up to the two pound coin. And as you can see, they're all dated 2021. Um, I wasn't lucky enough to get an error pack. <laughs> I was hoping to, but nah, I'm more than happy with this. And I'm quite happy with all the coins and the presentation. I've seen some pretty bad um, packaging examples from some of the other coin tubers, which is a bit of a shame considering um, how much these packs cost. But I think um, the Royal Mint is having a bit of bad luck recently with um, quality control. So hopefully once Covid's over and um, staff numbers may be um, up there, you know, we might see a bit more better quality control. But I could be wrong really, you know, they could have the same amount of staff but they're just not doing the job properly. Yeah, never know. But the only thing um, I've noticed is just the 20 pence piece is just a little bit off rotation, that's it, but nothing to shout home about. And all the coins are pretty flush in the pack as well. So let's have a look at the reverse, shall we? And there we are. Some lovely shiny coins. The Britannia, the Shield, and the £1 coin. Really nice, I've got some good quality coins here. I've had a really good look at this um, off camera. And I've, I have been lucky enough to get some really good coins. No scratches. No blemishes, nothing. I'm really lucky with this lot. And then we've just got some coin specifications down there. Uh, as always, feel free to have a read if you want to. Now let's let's start having a look at the commemoratives. So I'm going to start with this one on the back, which is um, the 95th birthday of Her Majesty the Queen. Now this is the obverse of the five pound coin. It's here. It's probably one of my fingerprints from earlier on. And that's the obverse, and obviously um, Her Majesty the Queen celebrating the 95th birthday. And as we head, up, head off in, let's open this up. Okay, so inside this pack we've got a bit of information. So the commemorative coins we make capture a moment in time, reflecting the individuals and events that have made a monumental contribution to the history, the present and the future of the United Kingdom. So starting off, we have got the Queen £5 coin, celebrating the 95th birthday, and of course we've just seen the obverse, and here's the reverse. And so when Queen, Queen Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor was born on 21st of April 1926, she was not expected to become Queen. Ooh. We learn something new every day. I don't follow the royal family too much, but... You always learn something. And there is a coin, really nice actually. A really nice pattern on there. Okay, so moving on, we have got 
the decimal day 50p now this is my favorite um, coin out of the set maybe a bit controversial Contro controversial I will get my words out but this is my favorite coin again this one's been met with a, a bit of criticism for some reasons but I won't go go into that on this video um, it is a fantastic coin and of course if you haven't already and um, please check out Dan Temple's um, recreation of this coin uh, he made it into a statue or like a trophy and it's just a fantastic video so I do recommend anyone go and check that out it was just fantastic how he made all these coins look exactly the same on his little trophy and there's just some information about the uh, the coin itself so decimal day or d-day was an important moment in the UK's uh, coinage story and one of the Roman's greatest challenges and achievements. Well, it's a really nice coin, I do love this design. And then moving on we've got the first £2 coin, so this is the HG Wells. Of course again this one was met, uh, met with a bit of controversy because it's meant to be a tripod. And as you can see we have got, uh, it's got four legs. Whether that might just be um, a design flaw I have no idea, but it's meant to be a tripod, but it's got four legs. Again, it's got the coin community talking, which is uh, can't be a bad thing, right? <laughs> and then, making science fiction believable. So, Herbert George Wells was a shopkeeper's son from Bromley who created a literacy uh, genre, influenced generations, and achieved so much more. And that obviously, War of the Worlds. I have seen that film. It's an absolutely cracking film. I've not read the book, though. And then we've got some coin specifications just down there. Okay, so moving on, we have got the um, John Loggy Bird 50p coin, which again is another lovely design. Possibly my second favourite in this set. I, I do love this design. And then uh, just there, we've got a bit of information. So, the making of television, John Loggy Bird was a Scottish engineer and uh, inventor, most famous for being the first person to demonstrate a work in television. That's really cool that is. It's a lovely, lovely design. And this is one of the reasons why I bought this um, annual set. All the coins are just fantastic. And then lastly, we've got the Sir Walter Scott two pound coin. Making history come to life. With a, with a keen interest in history and in particular that of his Scottish homeland, many credit Sir Walter Scott with the creation of the modern historical novel as we know it. And it is a really nice design. There we have it. So let's have a quick look at the um, the obverse of these coins. Uh, it's worth noting that the uh, the decimal day, the decimal day 50 um, p obverse is different to the one you normally see, and it is only available in these annual sets. So if you want to get your hand on one of these, grab yourself an annual set. I do apologise about the lighting. I've not quite got it right tonight as you can see the obverse is they're all dated 2021 and we've got some fantastic illustrations and pictures of the people uh, featured on these coins so there we have it i'm going to fold this back up before i do any damage to it and whack that down there so i am really happy with this annual set i mean it's worth, it's been worth the wait because some of the designs are just fantastic i think it is one of the strongest sets um, that have been released just recently i wasn't too fussed with last year's but this one was a must have and uh, there we have it there's another review i'm finally glad to be able to do this after so long but if you did enjoy this video please leave me a like and as always if you want to leave me a comment in the box below that would be absolutely fantastic as well if you're not already subscribed to Coins and More UK, that would be brilliant. And of course, uh, if you press that notification bell, you'll always be notified when I upload new videos like this. All that's left me to say really is thank you so much for watching, for all your support. And um, the videos are going to be rolling out thinking that fast now, finally. And um, always remember, there's always two sides to every coin, if you take the time to look. Bye for now.